In this video, we're gonna show you how to replace the grill molding or brow molding on your Ford Explorer located right on the outer perimeter of your headlamp. Once you have your hood open, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this little panel, flip that over, and you're gonna locate two seven millimeter screws. Loosen and remove those. In order to pull out our corner light here, there's gonna be three posts that need to pop out of their plastic retaining clips. So you can start by grabbing the side here and trying to pull this out. Now that gives you some challenges here trying to get that out. You can use a trim tool on the top here and assist on prying on this here while you're pulling on the outside of the light. We're using the trim tool so it doesn't scratch the paint or mark anything up. On the back side, I want to go ahead and pull this out. We're going to twist the bulb units counterclockwise. Go ahead and remove all of your bulbs. Remove this screw right here. It's your seven millimeter. Once you get this out, go ahead and repeat this process for the passenger side. Use a 10 millimeter socket to go ahead and remove these four bolts up top here. One on the top here, there's gonna be two plastic push buttons or locks, It's one here one on the driver's side here. Use your trim tool, go ahead and pop those out. Pull up that panel, go ahead and set that aside. Remove the four screws along the top of the grill using your seven millimeter socket. Ahead and grab your grill. Start pulling that forward. You gotta remove that from the vehicle. On the back side of your grill is gonna be four Phillips head screws. This is securing your brow molding onto the grill. Use your Phillips head screwdriver, loosen and remove these here. When you remove this last screw, you want to hold on to that brow molding. You flip your grill over. I'm going to repeat the same for the other side. Take your brow molding. I want to go ahead and line this up. I'm going to get one screw started here and then one screw started on the other side. Go ahead and run those screws down and in. Install the other two and we'll tighten them all down. Once these are all snugged down, Go ahead and repeat for the other side.
once these screws bottom out, you just want to snug them a little bit more. You don't want to crack the plastic. You're all set. Go ahead and install your grill. Pull your marker lights through. Now installing the grill, there's going to be your little clips on the bottom here, and there's also going to be a guide pin over here that comes through the grill right here. So push that in. Make sure the grill is pushed in over here. So once those two pieces are in, let's go ahead and repeat for the driver's side. Let's install our four screws across the top of the grill. I'm just gonna get these started. I'm not gonna tighten them all down yet. I wanna get all four started before we come back and snug those into place. With all four of these in place, we can now go ahead and snug those down. Install the outer screws here. Snug that in. Install the upper cover. Go ahead and install your plastic push pins. Once those are in, install your four 10 millimeter bolts across the top. Once these are all in, we'll go ahead and snug them down. Go ahead and lift up on this flap. This is going to give us access to the back side of our headlight to one of the posts we need to disconnect. Go ahead and line that up to a set clockwise until it stops. And then reinstall. You want to make sure that these little tabs here line up properly. Insert, twist clockwise, lock it in, press that in. It lined up, turn it clockwise to lock it in. Now we're going to install the light. Now on the back side, you're going to have three of these metal pins here that pop into holes in the header panel itself. So when you line this up, while you're inserting this here, you're going to look at the tabs on the top and make sure that those line up on the top of the header panel as well. Once these are lined up and your light is lined up with your headlamp, you get and install the two screws. Now you're just securing the plastic, just gently snug those down. You don't want to make them super tight. Do the same here. And go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.